Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to recommend Fedora as a great choice for starting your Linux experience if you're from a different operating system like Windows. So there's this notion that Fedora, because it uses all the latest technology, latest kernel, latest software, it's not stable. Um, I don't know how do you measure stability if you're talking about a server serving web applications, serving databases, of course you want to use a stable release. Um, but for personal use, I think Fedora is very very stable i've been using it since version 31 now on version 32 over six months i never encountered any problem i can tell you that i use almost exclusively uh, the beta version of the software like node.js i'm on version 14.2 uh, beta version angular beta version c plus plus compilers version 10.1 the latest version everything's latest version i had never had any problem i sometimes compile stuff from the source and this latest version it no problem at all the python is 3.8 it's also very new right so today's software the latest version the beta version are actually very stable you shouldn't encounter any problem uh, and uh, the fedora also has a backup plan so if something goes wrong you can always use a earlier uh, kernel so it installs multiple kernels and uh, when you uh, start your computer you can choose which kernel to log into so this computer has three different operating systems the fedora the ubuntu and windows and i never had any problem with any of them so fedora is very stable i use almost exclusively fedora another point i like to make is about installations some people say hey the fedora installation is not as friendly as ubuntu but think about it the the fedora installation takes probably 15 minutes you download the, the to your hard drive the operating system to your hard drive you create a usb bootable usb drive you you're you're done it's a very quick process there may be something you don't understand uh, the, like the virtual um hard drive thing you combine multiple physical hard drive into a single virtual hard drive this you can do some online research and it's not difficult uh, t before you can if you're basic you have the basic computer literacy this should be easy to resolve and you, the installation shouldn't be something that uh, uh, stop you from using an operating system because it takes a very short time. Um, another point I'd like to make is that uh, the Fedora, the benefit of using all these latest software, obviously you have the latest bug fixes, and for the kernel you will have compatibility to the latest hardware, like the Lenovo ThinkPad, Carbon x1 generation 2 laptop i bought a while back and when i got it the wi-fi adapter is so new that the ubuntu 19.04 does not support the hard drive i have to upgrade the kernel to linux kernel 5.2 and if you use the beta version of ubuntu 19.10 .10, it already used the latest kernel the 5.2 kernel then you will be able to use that wi-fi card so using the latest software definitely offers advantages it's not just like a because I, i'm using the cutting edge stuff i got uh, unstable operating system for fedora i can guarantee you it's very stable there's nothing wrong um, so i strongly recommend fedora if you think about another factor is like familiar familiarity like uh, if move from windows and fedora use this gnome desktop environment looks very unfamiliar to you and you prefer some distro like manjaro that uh, linux looks like windows and that's also not a, a big concern i mean it takes a little bit of time to get used to these new environment like that you have the this bar here you have the weather or whatever here and uh, it looks different than windows uh, it takes some time to get used to but you should not judge an operating system distro based on how familiar you are with it because linux is offering a completely different user experience than windows with its highly customizable desktop environment like this uh, little gadgets i installed and you should embrace it embrace embrace the how linux operates instead of trying to make linux look like windows like when i launch an application i can just use this thing it launches right away and for windows you have to click on the icon and stuff so you should embrace this new mode of operation instead of trying to make linux like windows um, and it does not take too much time to get used to it if you move from linux to windows or from mac os to windows i'm sure you will have a hard time as well because all those really kind of bloated menu system all the kind of stuff the windows it's really not as good as linux to be honest it does not offer the same smooth user experience um, so this is just something to get used to you should embrace the 
in my opinion, a superior operating system, a superior desktop environment, instead of trying to make that superior environment uh, similar to that inferior environment. Okay, so this is my talk about Fedora. I strongly recommend it, and I think it's very easy to use. There's no hiccups whatsoever, and it's very stable, rock solid for at least personal use. I strongly recommend Fedora. Okay, thank you.